Chinese-American and my family immigrated from Vietnam to California right after the war. I was born and raised there. Uh, after I graduated from UCLA in 2008, I decided to move to Taiwan to teach English and travel. I ended up loving it here and during that time I actually transitioned to being vegan. And I found it was really difficult to find really plant-based whole food vegan at the time in 2013. So that's how I ended up opening up Ucha Cha. At that point, we had been in Taipei for five years, and my husband and I were kind of talking about what kind of experience we had in Taipei. And we knew that the barrier of entry to opening your own business in Taipei was actually quite low. So we thought, okay, we have some savings, maybe let's test a few ideas here and see how they work. And so that's kind of how we opened up our first business. If you're going to go into entrepreneurship or owning your own business, you really have to do it with an internal motivation and drive. Not many jobs will actually prepare you for opening your own business. For me, I'm very mission driven. So that what pushes me every day through all the hardship because entrepreneurship is extremely difficult. It can be very lonely and you're forging your own path. So that's why I say you can learn things from your job that will help you with like administrative and operational things. But in terms of growing your business or having a vision, not many jobs will prepare you for that. When you're a small business owner or a founder in a startup, you literally have to wear every hat and you have to know every part of your business in and out so that you can step in and help. Luckily, I have my business partner and husband. He does a lot of the financial things, but I take care of marketing, day-to-day um, -day kitchen operations, menu development. The number one thing I always remind them is uh, attitude. We look for experience, but that's actually not number one for us. Number one will be the interview of how you respond to problems and are you willing to learn. We ask all of our employees to really actively think about what they're doing and try to solve problems on their own. So it's not just following an SOP every day. We're very intentional, number one, about the attitude, right? So we can kind of flag very quickly, if you are not open-minded or willing to learn, you aren't going to be able to fit into the culture that I've built here of like transparency, talking, teamwork is very big for us, right? We all help each other. Like, if they need help, I jump in, right? I'm the first one to model it, and so is my husband. We don't leave them to kind of pick up all the work for themselves. We are systematic about how we do evaluations. With that, there is an understanding that if you do well on your evaluation, you will get a raise. We are constantly kind of looking out for their performance. We want to know what you're doing well, what you need help with, and how can we help you improve. From kind of a bigger vision standpoint, opening your business, like really understand the Taiwanese culture and need, right? It's not about what you think you can give to them. Don't think like, oh, this is so amazing in California. Taiwanese people should be doing it this way. So I'm going to bring it here. It's how can you help Taiwanese people, whatever their needs are, how can you help them? Yeah.